All right, let's do some more New Horizons. If you're watching this later on YouTube, thanks for clicking. Have you been enjoying so far? So I changed the time to be the day. Two reasons I need to play during the day, but also the fishing thing is in town. So I figured just get some of the stunts. I also did some preparation work, so... I have a bunch of bait with me. That's why you didn't see the, the pop-up thing happen. Because I, I played a, a bit today. The only thing being, um... Just getting bait and catching a couple things here and there. Oh! And... The big news. <laughs> Finally asked to move out, so they're moving out. Which means in a couple days I can go look for another villager. They start moving up tomorrow, and then the day after their house is gone, so. That's nice. I don't know how I kept missing that. Anyway, I haven't done any other fossils or anything like that. So I'll just uh, get to that. I'm just going to do the fishing challenge thing, and then I might progress time to the normal time. At least that's the plan, we'll see. Go buy another one. Um, so the plan will, will be that. I'm going to catch one of the two fish that I, I want. I would hope that 80 pieces of bait will do it. If it doesn't, well. sell the good ones? Not yet. Okay, I guess they're not up to the point where they sell the really nice ones. I'll go make a shovel. Yeah, of course it broke. Oh yeah, there's also... Gotta donate that to the museum. More clothing I don't have room for, but... I should be able to, uh... Pay off the home loan today. So that's going to happen. So tomorrow this problem will be gone. that I have to do this, but I just don't have space. Oh yeah, and I was gifted this today. Um, surprisingly by Rocket. Rocket just started to hand out gift after gift after gift. Yeah. 
so I'm the one getting going away presents here. Good, more Lord of the Rings music. Okay. <laughs> it is messy, I know. It's very messy. I've not visited the clothing store, so... I forgot the shovel. <laughs> I knew I forgot something. Oh shit, no, it's not what I was supposed to do. That's supposed to go in storage. Okay. There might be a couple of items around the town that I've placed as well. Again, because no storage. Kinda got lucky with the fossils. I scattered out where they are, so. It's just a matter of digging them up. Ah. Fine. May as well do this while I'm here. that in a minute.
Got a few things to donate. Let's start with the painting first. Kind of a shame they didn't teach anything with them. Oh wow, only one today. Okay, Megalosaurus is done. Relative of the deer that lived during the Ice Age, long after the dinosaurs, it was known as Megalosaurus giganteus, which means deer with large horns. True to their name, they were deer with antlers spanning roughly 10 feet across. Imagine their majesty. While smaller than many dinosaurs, they were nonetheless a very charismatic example of mega fauna. Agrius butterfly, what a wretched thing. Tell me about this butterfly. Some say the Agrius butterfly is one of the most beautiful butterflies in the world. Bah, I say bah. They may have brightly colored wings, but the way they flutter and flitter, so foul. In fact, the Agrius butterfly flies so fast, it is quite a feat to catch one. I suppose I should congratulate you on your good fortune, but catching any bug seems a misfortune to me. Any hoot, yep. Garage's broke bird wing. Did you know that the repulsive Raja Brooks Birdwing loves to luxuriate in hot spring water? It's true, the males gather in groups to sip the moisture while the females hide in jungle trees. And though they dress to impress in green and red, these fluttering fiends are not just stylish, they're also quite malicious. Their little larvae pick, pack a poisonous punch that's supposed to protect them from predators, but I suspect more diabolical designs. Common blue bottle. Yes. The common blue bottle is a type of swallowtail butterfly with a bright blue line running down its wings. They fly quite nimbly, it seems, and are thus quite difficult to catch. But seeing how they've been known to slurp nutrients from mud puddles, I simply can't imagine wanting to catch one myself. What awful breath. Darn a dragonfly. Yes. The Zana Dragonfly is a very fast dragonfly, flying at speeds up to 40 miles an hour. They all have distinctive green hue, but the males have blue underbellies, while females have yellow ones. It all sounds pleasant enough, no? Well, did you know that their young eat tadpoles, even some small fish? Worse, these creepy carnivals will eat each other in a pinch. Grotesque does not describe it. Glass one. No, 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 no. Okay. As if the average locusts weren't large enough, we must suffer the long locusts too. The wretched beasts are known for their unusually long hind legs, as well as their elongated heads. But that is hardly the long locusts' worst trait. I tell you, they spit brown goo when they're scared. Revolting behavior indeed. Ich and ich. Okay. Nope. 
I have half an hour ish. Before I get to the fishing contest, there's some little fish I need to catch. happening Fashionista CJ here coming at you live from uh, right in front of you. I'm touring the islands looking for fresh faces and fresher fish to show off on my live stream. Fishing is reeling in all kinds of streaming numbers right now. Heard of esports? Well, this is C Sports. Anyway, I need new fish if I want to keep my followers following. That's where you come in. If you got fish to sell, I want to buy. Simple as that. I'll even pay a premium. So. You cash out, I get new selfies for my blog, and my viewers get to hear me talk fish. Everyone wins. Okay. Challenge time. Five fish in a row. Any Oh. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. That's nice and straightforward. sitting on this chair. Oh. Apparently can't be placed outside. Huh.
awkward spot. one of the new ones. The other thing I'm after is the Neon Tetra, which is tiny. This might be it. That's nah, another guppy. Fishinista picked a name for your angler persona yet. No way, you already caught five in a row? That's gonna make the chat explode. So much for my sea sports challenge. Wait a fish. Better walk. Okay. I want. patient. I just have to keep going for these tiny fish.
Süß. Okay. I may have made a mistake. unlucky. Trying to get a goldfish.
can't believe how rare this is being. For something that is, should be fairly common. Attempt this another day. Hang on to one copy because I gotta donate it. Damn. Let me just double check. until 4 p.m. so it's gone. Well. I guess the advantage now is I can go for the golden trout. Hang on. Golden trout horizons. I'm pretty sure it's from 4 p.m. PM. All right. That one need cluster. See what we have. Amber, shark tooth, and clear skull. That's 
Diplo Skull. Okay, cool. So now I just need the Anklia body. I've almost already got one. Okay, while we're here. Oh my, would you look at that? Such a beautiful, snazzy little fellow the guppy is. The shape, the coloration of the guppy fins are all unique, quite eye-catching, I must say. Do you imagine they host contests for most snazzy, and do you suppose I might receive an invite? They have fascinating stuff now. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna go pay my home loan off. the order anyway. I just want to see the requirements as well. The terraforming thing, like, what do I need? After you reach three stars. Okay, so then... I just want to make sure I don't need to build inclines or something. Oh, yeah, you need... Two inclines, shit. Okay. Yep. Yeah. 
doesn't let me talk to them again. I want to expand. <laughs> sure. At least the storage problems are solved now. Okay, um, infrastructure. Bridges and incline. Make an incline. Even here, I won't let me. No. This is my problem with the incline right now. I suppose what I could do is put one here just to make this easier. Ah, oh, crap. Of all the places to have one of those. Getting this done today since fishing is here. I probably should have packed the ladder away. It's fine. Oh, that's shape. Okay. 
the hot item. Wooden block bookshelf. That might actually be very good to sell. Softwood. Softwood three. Okay. I have a lot of softwood, so this is worth. gonna be a while. I wonder how much this is going to sell for. most of the bridge off, like, that'd be nice. I mean, incline.
two more. I'm getting rid of 120 pieces of softwood. Funny thing is, I made all this bait so then we wouldn't have to sit through crafting, and now I'm making everyone sit through crafting. But, I mean, the money potential plus it frees up some storage space that I desperately need right now. making 40 items. I kind of wish these just did six softwood straight up, just having to craft another item. Ugh. <laughs> there it is. I suppose before I head out as well. Because there's no doubt I'm going to need it. I'm gonna need another one of these. See it.
not as much as I thought. It's fine. I needed the space anyway. Would have liked more. I'm gonna make money off fish anyway. It is fine. Alright. It begins. Be better. Fuck me then. <laughs> That's the fish I was after. Alright. I love how I prepared all that bait and... I mean, okay, there's still another fish to get. I did not think that would be it. Well, the barrel... The barrel eyes until way later at night. Guess there's no sense in wasting the bait, I'll just go around normal fishing. <laughs> okay. Good stuff. Golden trout. This is undoubtedly a golden trout. Now, might I interest you in a few fascinating facts? Go for it. The golden trout is a beautifully coloured fish that can only live in very clean waters. They are very difficult to come across since they are only found in high mountain streams. As a side note, I find it much easier to appreciate the fish that aren't prima donnas about everything. That was probably one of the harder fish to get. Honestly, did not click that I had gotten it. Good. And yet, the common fish that I was trying to get earlier. No go. Okay, well now it doesn't matter where I fish. Take advantage of what I can get. Oh, 
couple of... Oh, I already know this recipe. Okay. I'll try and go for the hundred fish in a row thing. Probably wouldn't be a bad idea. important thing is whilst fish is selling for a very good price, I should just take advantage of it. At the very least, pay off the incline. fish is a lot but there's probably no better time to do it Hey, that's a good fish. That sells nicely. as well collect the shells and Hang on. collect the shells and do the nook mile thing Builder, I got 
I have to be very picky about it and go for the ones that I really want. So I'm going to be spending a lot of... Oh, wait, what is this? Hold on. Did you lose this? I swear, I swear, Phil, if you lost... If this is yours. You know, does mine have you been paying... Haven't you been paying attention to my aesthetic? I'm much more of a stew-type item. Okay. Uh, cool. Convenient. My favorite bag. I've been looking everywhere for him. I can't believe you found him. Thanks. I've been looking for it forever. Yeah, let me give you a reward. Simple Parker. Okay, nice. Is that five, eight, ten? Thought I heard that. I am going to have to wait. while I'm here. Yeah, this is so good. Wasn't even for a complete inventory. Probably just put this bait away for now. It's like it's just extra storage space. I could do the softwood thing, but ugh, it just takes forever. Storage is full. Okay, fine. Ten more. And by that I mean twenty, because... Ugh.
That is so typical. I prepared all this bait. I used virtually none of it because I got the fish right away. It does not give me as much as I would have liked. At least it'll clear up some space. I can probably pay for the rest of the incline now too. Give the clown outfit as well. with me. Accept the gift this time. Yes, do you want this? Present. What do we have here? It can't be, can it? A pirate treasure robe? Well, this is different from my usual style, but I'll try out on anything that looks cute. Here we go. <laughs> not bad. Really, really not bad at all. Dare I say good. I can't let you walk around empty-handed after you were so generous to me. Here, you gotta take this garbage pail. That'll go nicely on the beach, actually. I just need the hat now. Right, how you do it? Emote. I like that. Hang on. I need it to face here. I just need the tricon now and then I have a pirate. This one easy thumbnail.
looks sad, but it's fine. There we go. That works. I will end up with Buggy the Pirate. You know what? Now I'm gonna check in here. I wasn't going to today, but now I will. Should probably keep talking to you. Okay, that's fine. Takes a while for her to warm up. Okay, I kind of want that. But aside from that... Nothing else, really. It's a must for the wardrobe. Just need the pirate hat. Wait, did it send it? Oh no, garbage pail, hang on. Must have sent the clothing home. Can't wait to end up with the pirate. Good value. I'm doing this until I can pay off the incline at the very least. hangs out the whole day or not. Ah, 
Ah, fucked it up. <laughs> oh, my. Made it worse. Need all those knock miles. <laughs> Sorry, I already have a spare. was probably a sea bass and I just panicked. It's just a mental thing. <laughs> With these fish it's not bad. Because there's wiggle room to react. Okay, at least it's worth a little more today. It'd be nice if I could reel in like one of the big ones. Not that, that's a boot. Put down for now, I don't have storage.
May as well while I'm here. Should be enough for the incline. Guns out. Alright, that'll be ready tomorrow. Is that a new butterfly? I can't tell. Yeah. Me more. Pretty as a peacock, but I say the wings of a peacock butterfly may have a pattern similar to that of that beautiful bird. But its four wings are also covered in a dark velvety hair. You heard right, hairy wings. A hair raising revelation indeed. Anywho. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Ultimately, I'll go with two up the front in terms of skeletons. Like, just like, as boring as this might be, this is the best thing I can do for today because then tomorrow just use the funds and get the other incline up, and then that's all those requirements out of the way. Nice.
I just want to craft another fishing rod because I know this one's about to go down. You know what, I'll get rid of the stone in my inventory, why not? gonna be on three. Unfortunately this is not a <laughs> good fish. It's okay. out of this fishing day whilst it's selling well. I'm kind of surprised I haven't gotten this sooner. sure I've donated that. I would have said yes otherwise. It's okay. You're not moving out. Feels like I've been looking for you forever, but any time off my couch feels like forever, so it might have only been minutes. I found that thing you were looking for. <laughs> the do-rag. Was I looking for that? Uh, maybe it was a dream I had. Sometimes it's kind of hard to tell dreams and um, not dreams apart. Oh well. Ain't important. Wait a minute. I can complete the pirate outfit with this. Ah, it's green, damn it. Okay, eventually the right thing will appear. Wahoo! 
Jeez, you're hiding behind here. How you doing, Bow Wow? Let's talk. I think you might just have an anchovy there. I don't want to put you on the spot, but would you sell it to me for 300? Sure. Thank you so much, this really helps me out. What a great looking specimen of an anchovy. Wait until everyone sees what you sold to me. That was at the very least very polite. I guess I should avoid talking to the villagers if they're going to ask for my fish. I don't think they're paying me extra. And stereo. I can have loud music in my house now. Oh. Apparently, I had a bunch of stuff ready to claim. Okay. Well, again, I'm gonna be probably spending all of these on finding the right villager. timing. Why couldn't this happen after I had the house? Hey, Messiah, how's it going? How's your morning so far? As early as it may be. Room. Maybe I can make something with the trash thing I have. Oh, flooring. I can make trash bags. I guess in the interest of reducing it, I need a boot and an old tire. And old tire. You're good, full cozy. That's nice to hear. Yeah, I'm in a comfortable hoodie. It's a little... I wouldn't say it's cold, but... It's Enough to warrant one. Mm. I 
Okay. Now I can do that. Now we have a loud stereo. Got any uh, plans for today? Aside from being cozy. I'm gonna put this in the kitchen. There's a radio there already, but, you know, it's fine. I'll have to do a mess clean-up next time. Avoiding going outside in the rain. Oh. Is it... Is it bad rain or just rain rain? Sounds like a solid plan. Just rain. Okay, so nothing that would cause you to have to take a canoe somewhere to get around. I'm just going over here. This is probably better and easier. at the screen anymore so it doesn't fake me out when I try to catch the fish. I'm just going by sound alone now. I think I'm doing a bit better. until he closes up shop, which is at six. I'm pretty sure he stops at six. And then, hey, that'll give me money to do stuff tomorrow, or next time. Maybe not tomorrow. I guess it depends if I can look for a new villager tomorrow or not. When you're doing cozy time in the morning, do you have a special breakfast or something for cozy time? If I want to just hang out and not do anything when it's cold or miserable outside, that's when I'll usually have, like, cereal. <laughs> I don't know, there's something about just cereal. 
when it's like that outside. Whoops. Karen usually eats breakfast or cereal. That's probably one of the few exceptions. You only eat par oat porridge with berries in the morning every morning. And the tea. That's a pretty nice breakfast. Very healthy. I mean, at least the cereal I have is not like a, a candy cereal. Ate some raw rhubarb with lemon and salt. <laughs> I mean, raw in what sense, cat? Like, just the whole thing? Or sliced at least. Can't imagine that'd be too bad. Slice the chunks. Yeah, I mean, the lemon and salt would make it nice. I wouldn't go so far as to eat that on my own, but if I had to, I would eat it. The gorilla's moving out, cat. <laughs> In preparation of for today, I went and got 80 pieces of bait. Now, I used 10 pieces to try and get a goldfish from the pond before time was up. Couldn't get it. I used three pieces of bait and got the golden trout. So now I have 67 pieces of bait that I'm going to use on the other fish in the ocean. It's the rare one. I farmed the bait so that we wouldn't have to sit through it today, and of course I don't need it. I just haven't gotten big fish today, I'm just so impatient. Also, Masai, you can't eat heavy things in the morning, you'll feel sick like bacon and eggs. Ah, oh, that's a shame. Not even in a small quantity. Like, tiny serve. You have to farm stupid fish bait too. Yeah. So about the September fish. I needed to get the sturgeon. So on the very last day, in normal time, I got a hundred, almost 200 pieces of bait. And did not have luck. So, the time was basically midnight. Two minutes to midnight. I see a shadow, and it's a big one. And I'm like, all right, well, this is the last fish I can catch. And I'm saying with like probably 30 seconds to spare before the month ticked over to October, I got the damn fish. After spending the entirety of the stream just getting bait and trying to get the stupid thing, I got it with 30 seconds to spare. Typical of me. I was happy, but at the same time I was annoyed. Which is why the thumbnail for that video is just like a picture of me and bait, because that's all I did. Maybe a crumb of bacon, there you go. Bacon's good, but suck to have to miss out on it. 
Especially if someone's eating it in the same room. It's like, you want it, but you know you can't have it. I have this yet. I might. The other thing, the gorilla's been giving me presents all day, despite it moving out. So, yeah, I'm gonna spend all, all as many knock miles as I can to get something that. I'm gonna be way more picky this time. So we'll see what comes of it. I won't be able to do it until tomorrow at the earliest, I think. Or is it the day after? I can't remember. Did she say sh she was moving or... No, no, so today was the speech bubble event. When I went to start collecting bait, she had it and then, yeah, wanting to move. So, uh, I said yes. Go move away. So that happened today. So she hasn't started packing yet. I would imagine she'd be in boxes tomorrow. Maybe. It's the third day I can hunt. Okay, so it's not till Sunday. Alright. That's fine. Gives me more time to get knock miles. Or I could just not play tomorrow. I was kind of expecting to fish more. Well, okay, I am fishing, but I meant... Be looking for the golden trout more. Since I get more money for fish, it just makes sense, so... That's gonna happen tomorrow, and then I'll prob I'll put up a second one on the other side, so then that's the two inclines done. But I do want to get around to finish Warrior Land. How's my rating? I haven't checked, but I don't think it'd be three stars, because I think you need the two inclines to get it. I vaguely recall that bare minimum was two inclines. And two bridges, and then... I need more fencing as well, like I should craft some fences. No, I'm not sure if I'm still in love with my throwback mixture. But then again, maybe I am. What do you think? Don't doubt yourself. Okay. I'm gonna give it away anyway. Oh, what? <laughs> so I'm getting hit, I'm giving it to you. It's all yours now. I don't have room for this. Tomorrow I will. Today I, I don't have room. Okay. I guess someone can... Uh, I've actually sat in one of these. They're not comfortable. to start the Halloween game at some point as well. Because <laughs> at the end of the month Mario's coming out, so. I also forgot about the Spider-Man game, which is on the same day as Mario. I really enjoy that series, though the games aren't that long there. They're a lot of fun. 
so many games. Yeah, it's kind of stacked. And then Mario RPG isn't too far away either. And then the, the existing games that are probably going to have their major updates dropping before Christmas. Like Stardew and Terraria. Yeah, I can't wait for Mario RPG. I'm really excited for that one. Yeah, so this year I was going to play The Last of Us for Halloween. Due to <laughs> it being requested multiple years in a row. Wanna wait for each other's starter players to get out last, like last time? Sure. There's supposedly a new map, so... It'll be good to check out the new map. So it'll, it'll feel fresh. Also, Diablo 4's season... Like, okay, the game is still a question mark, but supposedly the changes they're doing, I saw some of them. They're going to be pretty good and put the game in a better place, but not the best place it can be. It still has a way to go. They're already putting on Diablo, Diablo 4 on Steam. Yeah, that's probably a result of the, the Microsoft acquisition thing. But, I mean, the big thing to come out of it is, uh, they're adding some late game bosses, they're making the leveling up quicker, by 40% in total, so, they cut down the amount of time it takes to get to level 100 by 40%, the extremely rare items that no one, basically no one found, it's like, you have better odds of winning the lottery, that's how bad it was, now they're changing that. So, apparently, they haven't shown it yet, but they've said that every single unique item is getting changed as well. They're just doing a complete rehaul. Overhaul. Rehaul? That's not even a word. Overhaul of items, which, cool. So, I might find time to play that. Maybe not necessarily on stream, but... It's just more of a, well, that's just one more thing I would want to check out. The shells don't sell much, but now that you've said I'm going to pick them up. They do make stuff, though. But yeah, the Helltide event is getting its own unique boss. Um, Duriel is, I guess they're having like an uber version of Duriel that drops good gear. And the theme is, the theme for this season is about vampires and the abilities they showed off seem pretty decent. So, at least they're listening to feedback and trying. But it'll still probably be a while before that game reaches a point where it's in a good place. Like, the the player base kind of took a nosedive to the point where Diablo 3 has a larger player base at the moment.
I'll just sell every time I do a little loop. I'll probably do what I did one one of the seasons where I'll just <laughs> I'll play it. But then they'll just stream it in Discord and stuff. So then it's just more laid back and casual. And then I can do stuff like listen to music. these days they'll figure it out. They'll figure it out and go, uh, just, hey, streamers listening to music is good. It actually helps sales. A mug. <laughs> I don't have space. I need more space. Trying to think what else I'm waiting for. There is that other WarioWare game that's coming out, but that's less of a commitment. Which I think also releases in the next month or so, I don't know. Like, there's a lot coming out. The Detective Pikachu game came out today, but I haven't played the first one, so I'm not sure. But I've heard good things about it. You got the last reaction. How many reactions are there? I don't think I even got all of them the first time around. Not something I like, bothered with too much. Okay, I have to get one big fish, come on. Different personalities give different reactions since you can't play online and get the other fruits. You did it so you can cheat in the other fruits if you meet a goal. Alright, you get yourself pairs when you got all the fed of two villages. I gotcha. It's a quite honor bound system. By the way, given, like, what Nintendo's done with games lately, I'm, I'm pretty convinced now that the whole rumor of, um, like, the first Animal Crossing game getting remastered and re-released is probably true. Because now the amount of GameCube games, like, the big ones, that they've given that treatment to is, is quite significant, particularly recently. Like Metroid Prime got it, Pikmin 1 and 2 got it, Thousand Year Door got it. And I mean the other the other Prime game will probably get it as well. 
They seem to be remastering GameCube games. Oh, Luigi's Mansion 2, but... I wouldn't be surprised if they did it to the original. But they seem to be remastering the games as opposed to just shoving them on the service. I mean, I guess you can count Mario Sunshine to some extent as well. Because that was part of the 3D collection, but still technically remastered. Not a good remaster. I mean, low effort remaster, but nonetheless still released. So it would make sense that they would be doing that for, for Animal Crossing. Hand flute. It wouldn't surprise me as well, because the most popular F Zero game is the GameCube one. And the fact they've released F Zero 99, I don't know. Like, out of nowhere, after how many years of nothing. It would not surprise me if that was a game that they're remastering as well. Give me a good fish. How many sea bass? Oh, jeez. Okay, let me get rid of these shells while I'm here. I still can't believe we're getting both Mario RPG and Thousand Year Door. Pretty much back to back. saw that they're doing a Lego Animal Crossing set as well. I'm not into Lego, but I will admit <laughs> it'd be kind of nice to have like a little mini Animal Crossing display just on the shelf. Half of the incline tomorrow, I'll be happy. He's here for another 20 minutes. So I'm gonna take advantage of that.
Oh, good. Keep forgetting I put that down there. I was like, what is that sound? I thought, oh yeah, give myself music at the PR, that'd be nice. What is that? Okay, that's more like music. Sorry, this is just fishing. <laughs> this is all I've been doing. I would have done something else, but this is too good of an opportunity for money. This is the first time he's visiting the village as well. Somehow I haven't had a day where he's around. I don't know how that's possible. I've been playing this game for about a month. <laughs> One good fish. Or is it just not possible right now? Are all the good fish just asleep? This is a good one. Finally. Oh shit. Okay. The important thing is acquired. Ew, what the fish? I don't think that one would be particularly edible. Like, that's probably one of those deep sea ones that would seldom see human contact. I don't care. That's the really important thing. That's probably like 20,000 bells on its own. Oh, it's an ore fish. Never mind. It's that string fish. Okay, not quite 20,000 bells. People do eat fish that are kind of gnarly, like there's the fugu that only has that small amount that's actually edible and the rest is poison. Who knows, maybe people actually do eat the string fish. I mean, ore fish. Maybe it's like some billionaire delicacy or something. They'll find a way what to eat it. Probably.
to the kitchen it goes. Can I place it on this table? No. Nah. That's fine, I'll put it next to the floor kettle. It matches, look at that. Just an absolute mess. <laughs> when I first moved that, I only had like a couple of chairs to sit in. I was sitting on like this weird kitchen chair for my computer. And then the only other chair I had was like this outdoor garden seat. I don't know how to describe it. But it had some lining on it that was soft. So it was intended to be an outdoor chair and I just had that in the living room. And the desk, the desk I had was made out of that, that fake wood stuff. And it was just, it had gotten so old. Wait, where's the fishing rod? I put it away like an idiot. The part where the keyboard sat had kind of, I guess just by shifting the keyboard on a daily basis for years, it, it made an indentation of where the keyboard was. So there was, there was a, there was a dip <laughs> where the keyboard would sit. That's how much the wood, well, quote, wood, um, was just worn out. The most adult purchases I've made that should have happened sooner than what they did was a good chair to sit in. <laughs> being at the computer and a bed I had a I had a bed I thought it was good it was not a good bed it was a functional bed it worked but it was old and it definitely needed the mattress replacing so then when the bed broke and I re replaced the whole thing I remember I was like oh shit no I I was definitely not an adult <laughs> before this day That's the long one. I think I already got that. I don't know. It's pretty common, so I'm not that concerned. Where are the, the fish? No more sharks for you, summer's over. Ah, Sh Sharks are such a good source of money. And they're pretty common. That's why I prefer ocean fishing. River fishing just doesn't have the same level of quality when it comes to the fish. You don't get too many that are worth a lot. But it's fine. Bought a second retro radiator. 
Why would you... <laughs> why would you buy two... Why would you buy two radiators? Can't even go. It can only go inside. It can only be indoors. Which makes sense. Oh man. I don't mind. See, if the mouse had a different face, I wouldn't mind the mouse and it'd be okay. But I just, I don't know. This, I just don't like. If it was a normal gorilla and not one in a, a Power Rangers outfit. I'd be okay with it. It's just the Power Ranger outfit that just doesn't do it. My fish. Don't like any of the gorillas. That's fair. But I could... I think I'd be... I'd be less in a rush to get rid of the gorilla. <laughs> so, things are gonna look so much better. I haven't seen every villager, nor have I looked it up. Nice. Um, but I'm gonna have to make some tough... another one. I'm gonna have to make some tough decisions, because I'll just have to think, okay, is this really what I want, or do I try for another? I mean, the only villager that remains that I want is Scoot. But, you know, that's the duck that I want. But I'll probably go for that last. As far as the other two, I don't know. It'll be a play it by eight. Just, <laughs> just see what happens. Some of these ones that I got, I, will, I kind of just decided them on the fly. Like the moment I saw Audi, I was like, okay, yep, you, definitely you. And they're all good. Yeah, I, I lucked out in that regard. For what I lacked in luck when it came to the starting villages. Audrey, Audrey Alice, and, um, damn it, what's her name? Melba. For Melbourne. Oh my god, it just clicked. Alice is for Alice Springs. If there's a koala called Canberra, that makes sense. There's a koala called Sydney. And Melba's for Melbourne. Did they name a koala after every capital city? Although Alice Springs is a city, it's not a capital city. It just clicked. It's like, wait a minute. <laughs> there is. I should have got in Canberra and just put, you know, the houses being <laughs> Sydney here, Canberra here, and then Melbourne here. Then 
Alice here. Somewhere here. I think Canberra is a super creepy one. Oh. I don't know. I haven't seen them. It's okay. I wasn't going to go with a koala only town, but that would be amusing to do. Name my island hepatitis, and then just, that's, that's it. Just get koalas. Now, for those that don't know, the majority of koalas have hepatitis. Gonzo is a koala, is that a city? No. I mean, the other ones they would have would be Darwin, Hobart, Brisbane, Adelaide. It'd be weird if they called an animal Brisbane. I suppose I could go with Brizzy. They have Chlamydia. Alright, Chlamydia. Why do I think it was Hepatitis? Chlamydia. Either way, STD. <laughs> There's a treatment center for them. Well, I don't think I could name my island Chlamydia. I think it would probably block that word. time do I have left? Three minutes. Okay, I should probably sell the fish. I mean, that's more than half of the incline paid for. I'm just going to make a wooden one so it's not costing me a lot. this thing today. So, America had that whole, um, emer emergency notification test where they sent out an alert to all the phones in the country. So, the funny thing is that, um, it accidentally ousted a bunch of Amish people that were secretly hiding phones. Ignore the conspiracies. The conspiracy is just batshit insane. But, like, the notification ended up ousting a bunch of Amish people that were hiding phones. And they got shunned. <laughs> it's just... Ah, oh, that, that's gotta suck. Very, very unfortunate. That's funny, but, like, I feel for them. They probably weren't aware that it was going to happen, and then just this noise. Because I think, I'm not sure about it, how it worked, but I think it doesn't matter if your phone is on silent, it was going to go off. He's gone now, isn't he? 
And I'm still here. I thought he left at six. Yeah, I'm not even gonna go into the conspiracies. That's just... In the same realm of just talking about Flat Earth and that sort of kind of stuff, it's just... I think life is a lot simpler if we don't go down that path. But the Amish thing is just... Yeah. I don't know much about them either, it's just more of what I do know is, you know, they try to live without technology. I don't know whether if, if that's like because they see technology as like a big no-no. I mean, just a bunch of people that were curious about the outside world just got ousted. I probably would have exposed, like, oh no, there's someone smuggling in phones into this community. Follow the Bible to the T. One type of fabric, X amount of buttons on clothes, no cutting hair, shaving. Six technology and science wasn't mentioned. Means it's from the devil. Oh, okay. Well. Oh. That'll do it. I mean, I don't know, like, there's a gray area with the science thing, because the wheel, you can argue, is, is a point of science, so if they're using a wheel at any point, even if it's on a wooden cart, that's still science that led to that. It's classified as technology. It's a tool. Wheels are already invented in Bible times. I know, but I, I guess I'm saying it's just like... New things can happen. Jesus must have invented it. Jesus, take the wheel. I can already picture you laughing at yourself after that pun.
it's not like coffee, but something about brisk that makes you want to get cozy with a hot drink, so getting tea. Yeah. I think it's just the sounds that happen when he pours the coffee. It's the ASMR. Just makes you want something similar, even if it's not coffee. I just kind of wish it was like New Leaf, where you could have it as a separate shop. Just another building would have been nice. Kind of like what they did with Happy Homemaker. cafe setting outside the museum to make up for it. Oh, that's nice. I, I think I can imagine what you're going to use. There's like this outdoor table that has um, an umbrella thing on it. That was a nice table. It's also nice that so you can put whatever pattern you want on the umbrella. He's still here, right? Yeah, cool. I thought he left at six, but I guess not. I mean, again, in the interest of just straight up getting rid of this requirement for the incline tomorrow, or the day after, it would be good. I don't have much left to go. I need to get the rock for today as well that has the money. I think I've done that. He leaves at 6 when it's the tournament. Oh, but if he's just there for the day, he's there all night. Okay, that's good. I'm not gonna do this all night. Like, I've been playing this for almost three hours. It's, I'll do a bit more of it. Enough to, at the very least, secure the incline funds. Shit, it's, it's already almost 10. This daylight savings time zone. What's after Animal Crossing Warrior? Yeah, I just have one more world to do in Warrior. And then that's it. It shouldn't take long to finish it. And then I was debating on either playing a new retro game or starting The Last of Us since it's like late at night. I guess we'll see. It depends how long Wario is. If it takes you an hour and a half, which that's what I'm banking on. Start The Last of Us tomorrow because you want to watch. I could do that. I could just make it like one lengthy session of that tomorrow. I don't know how that how long that game is, but I would need to get it done before Mario comes out. I mean, you would think two weeks is enough.
Aside from that, for Halloween itself, I don't know. I might just play Castlevania or something. Something not like that. I did get given Resident Evil 4, but... I've never played a Resident Evil game properly. I feel like Oh man, I, that would go to shit so quickly. Oh, this is here. Then where's the money rock? I can pick up trees and place them so I don't lose them. Oh. decisive about what to do with this map as a whole. Whether to go like what I have now or another one I was thinking was more of a, a grid that goes across the whole map so then each villager has a large enough piece of land. One involves just decorating houses, or at least the outside parts. The other one involves, I guess, coming up with, like, parks and that kind of thing. Okay, well, that's the money rock. So thinking. I was thinking of making like a moat. <laughs> here in the bridge and then just having these things be the gods. Just at the very least keep that theme. Spooky tree. Oh, okay. Huh. I did get a scarecrow. So I can replace my Statue of Liberty now. <laughs> the real scarecrow. But I'll probably do that tomorrow once I have storage space. Shh. 
sure. <laughs> I'll get rid of it later. Right now, the inside of this house is a lost cause. Wow. Uh... I'm just gonna solve 99 of these. Yeah, I mean, the materials I have in case, hot item. So then I can sell a bunch of it, that's pretty much it. So I'm prepared. Some of the spring stuff is kind of nice. Like this is this is really nice. Somehow only made out of petals. Do you want that one? Ah. Oh. You couldn't find it during spring. All right, there's always next time. Or is it one of these things that are just DLC only? I started playing in summer. Ah. Oh. Could skip ahead just to get it. I mean, it's always an option. that milestone yet. Um, what time do these fish come out? Hang on. The barrel eye happens at about oh, 10 p.m. Still ages away. I mean, if I was in real time right now, it would have happened. But I thought, oh yeah, I have some fish from the pond that I need to get. That'll be easy. And then I can just put time back to normal and then I'll get the golden trout and this barrel eye thing. Nope. <laughs> Instead of finding the common fish, I found the rare fish. It's alright, the bait's not going anywhere. I can just use it next time. The thing is I got the thumbnail with Pietro wearing the pirate outfit. But maybe I should just make the thumbnail fishing <laughs> so then... This, hey, this is what's gonna happen. It's representative of what I did.
Did I hear another balloon? Okay, no, I think I'm, I'm hearing shit. I'm just gonna go until this fishing rod expires with fishing. And that should hopefully be enough to pay for the other incline tomorrow. And even if it doesn't, it should be close enough. There's only so much I can fish in one day. Now, if this was more heavily tied to progression, I could fish for the next few hours and be fine, but because this isn't that heavily tied to progression. I can stop. It's just in Stardew and... Terraria and other games that are in that vein where fishing is just really good for progression. But I feel inclined to do fishing constantly. But with this, it's just because the fish are selling well today and I need those inclines. So then I don't have to build anything else and can just focus on the house. It's not on the wall. What are you doing? No matter how I try, I can't justify having more than one tea with a silicone bib. <laughs> it has more than one baby outfit. What is going on here? Okay. The only time I had to wear a bib as an adult was when we went to a seafood place. That was just the type where they have the seafood in the bag and it's just really messy. And you definitely want that bib. They just pour the contents of the seafood bag on the table. I was kind of hoping to find some money balloons. Crap, it's gone over.
might as well sell. Another 20k, 25k, and that does it. Nearly there. I got one good fish that will cover it. Sea bass, I think. Shark season is definitely the best time for fishing. Nice, that's a good fish. Made me really, really wait for it. I'm surprised I got that. Glasses, I didn't know they wore glasses. <laughs> Where is fish? I need just a few more, then I can, I can stop.
It's the YouTuber music. <laughs> That's all I think about when I hear that song. Less worth. Ah, oh, shit, it turned. Well, there goes whatever chain I had. I've got an up to fifty. Seems to be a distinct lack of fish in the ocean right now. Now, if I have that butterfly. I would assume yes, but... I mean, it's, it's just there chilling. I can get it in a minute. Fine, it's not going to be worth a lot. <laughs> not as much as I had hoped. <laughs> Trouts are from 4 p.m. and then barrel is 9 p.m. Seal account while raining all day. The most expensive fish I can catch in October being 15k. Yeah, the golden trout. It's rare. And I got one before. I don't want to waste bait. Um, the barrel I probably won't get to today, but one of these nights I will. Seal account just needs to rain. It's not a good time for fishing. Oh, good. I mean, I would imagine, yeah, the blue marlin and the ore fish are probably the two. In terms of a best case scenario.
I just don't want to waste the bait. Because I still have fish to find. And that's why I collected it, to find particular fish. This is why I don't like river fishing. When this happens, they just seem to constantly do that. And then you go around to the other side, and then they change direction on you. It's definitely better than what it was in New Leaf. At least you have the pole, but it's still a lot of that. I think some of these little fish should be tropical and rare. Just tiny just because a fish is tiny doesn't mean it can't be expensive. The fish leaving after October. The dab got it. Tuna got it. Blue Mullen got it. Yeah, the only fish I have left in terms of what I haven't gotten. Barrel eye, coelacanth, neon tetra, pop-eyed goldfish, and the snapping turtle. Then, once I have those, I'll, I'll be up to date. Not to worry about fishing for the rest of the month. I don't know about ocean critters. Ocean critters I haven't really stayed on top of. Imagine the red snapper is a good one to get right now. I know I said that other one was going to be the last one, but I just haven't made the quota. The new in October deep sea creatures lobster. I haven't gotten a lobster. Huh. Or have I? Pretty sure I haven't. I've gotten. Yeah, I don't have a lobster. Okay, I'm gonna have to look for that at some point. Definitely got all the crabs under control. Did he just say he can't wait to touch a fish? What do you mean, touch a fish? Catch a fish or touch a fish? You need hybrid flowers for the peacock butterfly to spawn.
Okay, cool. <laughs> That's handled. It's a good thing I've been slowly working on them. As tedious as it is. The tarantula's leaving off rock feather. Okay, I need to get two more because I want to make a tarantula model at the very least. So I just need two more to make that happen. And then scorpions come in, so... I don't know why, but on my other file, I just never got tarantulas and scorpions after a certain point. They just seemed to disappear. Maybe my island is too clean. Maybe I just needed to let it get dirty. bad luck, or maybe it was a season they didn't spawn. I don't know. I just know after a certain point, I just didn't see them on my island. But it'll be worth it. I can just throw down the incline. In fact, even regardless of whether or not I play this tomorrow, I might just do that. I've had so many balloons today and not a single one has been money. Just can't throw me like 30,000 bells. Oh, okay. Clown, well, part of a clown outfit. Oh, you want money to fall from the sky? You fucking clown. Here, have a clown outfit, you clown. Doubt it's gonna make up the remainder, but let's just see. Hey, where'd it go? Let's 
CJ, where are you at? There you are. This is at least 10 grand. <laughs> Not even. Just very close. Just a few more fish. It's like 165 or 167 for the incline. I've done it. It's now it's now formality at this point. That's a good one to catch. I'm pretty sure that got me what I needed. It'll like four and a half K, so I imagine it's so well. Got a couple more just because I would want spending money tomorrow. I don't want to lose all my money right away. It's 3k. That's still. Days are numbered. This is the last lap down the beach. Just got one more fish to swap. A decent amount. This one's just fine. Yep. I 
don't have much luck. Please let this be... Oh, there's two fish here. I think right now these shadows are the ones that give me the most money. Sharks in December, hell yeah. When this game launched, I had sharks and everyone wanted to visit my island. It was so appropriate, Australia starting with sharks. Trying to keep the chain going. I don't know how many I'd be up to. Oh, nice. Alright, good. Now I'm definitely done. Those last two fish, that is 100% the funds I require for the incline. This is definitely over 10k now. Mathematically, it has to be. <laughs> there we go. No, but it's like, so the fishing is tricky because in in New Leaf. It's hard to describe, it's... When a fish goes towards the lure, it does it at a pretty consistent rate. It goes in and out pretty consistently. Like, it's the same timing and distance roughly each time. With this, sometimes it pauses, sometimes it goes after it really quickly. And it's just so hard to predict. And when something has a tight window, it just makes you press the button sooner in anticipation because you don't want to lose it. So, fishing is a lot harder in this one. But don't blame anyone that misses this, because I miss it constantly. I don't, I don't think I'm that bad of a fisher. I'm just going to craft a pair of boots. And that, I mean, I may as well get rid of this tire. The 100 fish thing, I know I can do it, it's just, I'm just going to have to purposely go for the little fish for a while. That's the best way to do it, is don't go for anything above the medium size and then you'll get it, because it gives you enough wiggle room. Anything larger and, yeah. Oh goody, a whole 60 bells. That'll go a long way. Let's 
It's okay. At least they're not charging me to get rid of it. You got up to 32 of a Shark Island, but then your inventory was full. Oh, that's sad. Shark Island is so good. I usually just abandon my tools at that point, except for the fishing rod. Because you can always remake your tools. Hell, you could probably buy all your tools back just with one shark. But it's after a certain point, I stopped carrying the ladder as well. It just didn't care about high ground. Okay, well, that was a lengthy session of fishing. <laughs> Not my original plan, but the good news is this gorilla is moving out shortly. Which means I can go on another villager hunt. And I got the golden trout, so that's the rare fish. Just have a couple of other fish to get, and then that's the season's fishing done. Of oh, this month's fishing, I should say. Alright, anyway, if you reached the end here, and you're watching later on YouTube, thanks for sticking around. Hope you enjoyed, and if you want to support the channel, the easiest way to do so is just click buttons, particularly the ones that have the thumbs up on them. Helps out the channel out a lot, so thank you to those that do do that, and you can also check out something else that I've been playing on any one of the two videos that have popped up now. But till next time, see you YouTube, bye.